Yo, what's going on guys? It's iHelper and today I'm going to be showing you guys a few of the best tweaks for the iOS 10.1.1 beta jailbreak that is currently out right now. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. So the first tweak we have is called Cylinder. And if you don't know what Cylinder does, it gives you these really cool animations when you swipe through the pages of your device. So that's basically what Cylinder does. You have a ton, and I mean a ton, of, um, what's it called? A ton of options to pick through. There's just countless and countless amounts. So that's Cylinder. This next tweak is called Cask, and as you guys can see, when I slide through settings, it shows this really nice look of um, this really nice look of like animation when I'm scrolling through even when I come over and go into like Twitter it has it so say you're scrolling through your Twitter feed and we'll even have it there that is just one of the spots I noticed it so this next week we have is called icon bounce and if you didn't notice in my dock which it's kinda hard if you didn't the icons down there are jumping around, just acting all alive. And I think it's a really nice tweak, and it works very well with iOS 10 jailbreak. So all you gotta do is just install it. Kind of move these sliders around, they'll end up all the way down there like they are. Just move them both, and then mess with this, like animate labels. I don't really like having the labels on. And then you can choose which ones that are active and which ones aren't. And debug mode is for devs. Um, then respring then you'll be good to go. So if you guys didn't notice for the respring glitches in the Cydia application as of right now a tweak that can help you with this is every time you install something it's called power tap you can just slide to respring right there and that way you won't get stuck in anything and you won't have to reboot and constantly keep re-enabling the jailbreak like you usually do. Okay, for this next week, it's called No Slow Animations, which you guys probably noticed how my phone is just supercharged right now. It's just in and out of folders really, really fast, making animations crazy fast all over the place. That's what No Slow Animations does. You can customize the speed and respring. You can speed up the HUD, so like the volume HUD, so it goes away faster, so that way it's not always protruding and in the way. I'm actually going to turn that off because there's a separate tweak for that that I want to test out after this video takes place. This next tw bleh, bleh, bleh. this next tweak is called spin settings and basically all it does is it makes the settings icon spin. Really nice look and I just really like the way it looks and I just like to have it. Uh, oh and I guess I should probably show you guys how to make these tweaks work I guess. Okay, so let's just go and slide the power off. And I'm not going to speed up or anything. I'm not going to cut. And that's mostly the reason I don't have music playing in the background. So that way you guys just get a clear understanding of what I'm doing. And you're not distracted by anything. So here we go. My phone is booting back up. Oh, and just so you guys know, this is on the iPhone 7. So let's just go ahead and wait for that to boot back up. It shouldn't take too much longer. And there it is. And just in case any of my friends watch this video, let's pass code in. And now we're back up on the home screen with no tweaks running. As you guys can see, Cydia will crash. So you're going to run the jailbreak application. And then it will crash when it's finished. And I'm not going to cut so you guys can see approximately how long it takes. So there we go, now Cydia is up and running. As you guys can see, Cydia is up and going perfectly fine. Okay, and now to get tweaks running, you're going to have to use this substrate mod that you can get off of Cydia because Luca Tedesco disabled substrate so people didn't end up bricking their devices and uh, losing their 10.1 jailbreak and the hacker or developer known as IJPJ has released this tweak 
and it will just go like that and it will activate substrate and I think it failed that time yes it did so we're gonna have to go and repeat the whole process that we just did until it works you'll know when it fails when it uh, spins around a little bit just like a tiny little bit and then just goes off usually it spins around a couple second seconds and then just takes you right back to your lock screen so here we are again right back up in the phone come up and open the jailbreak app like I said before and that time it failed to patch the kernel so it's just going to restart this jailbreak is in beta so that's why it's going to be a little frustrating as you guys can tell but what are you gonna do I jailbroke just so I can bring you guys the newest stuff even though even though I'm on my daily driver and I probably shouldn't have because I'm at a very high risk of losing it I probably should not have jailbroke it with this uh, beta anyways but I did for you guys so I hope you guys appreciate that I can't even play Super Mario Run it just it has jailbreak detection so keep that in mind so let's go ahead and try the jailbreak app one more time and if this fails I'll just explain to you guys what to do if it fails again I think I'll do it this time and maybe one more time because I don't want this video to just drag on of me doing the same thing. Okay, so there you go. The jailbreak app is running. I usually like to open up Cydia and let Cydia load, let it reload its data um, because that helps it. Oh, and it also helps if you close out of like most of the apps and stuff before you uh, start like doing that. I could have could have said that sooner. Okay, so there it goes again. Substrate has failed to patch it, and it's just going to restart again. Um, there are some a few links that you're going to need in the description, which I will provide for you guys. Um, but that pretty much wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to drop a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, maybe even subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.